To download the vault and install it, start by going to www.olamode.com and click on My Account at the top. Log in with your username and password. If you have an X site, this is the same username and password. Next, click My Downloads. Download and save the Vault install file to your desktop. To install, double-click the installation file you've saved to your desktop. Run through the installation wizard. Agree with the end user license agreement and click Next. Install to the default directory. If you don't want to place the vault shortcuts on your desktop, uncheck the box. Uncheck View User Manual and click Finish. After a safe start runs, the vault configuration window opens. To configure Vault, you access it through the Programs menu. If you've just installed Vault, the configuration wizard might already be open. Click Next to begin. Fill out your Olamode username and password, and give an email address at the bottom. Every time Vault runs, it will send a confirmation email notice to you telling you what's been backed up or that there weren't any new files to back up. If you have a satellite connection and experience errors uploading your files, come back to the configuration wizard and check this box. On the next screen, check the box to upload your WinTotal reports. Click Next. If you want the vault to run automatically, choose Yes to have it watch for new and updated reports. On the next screen, tell vault which folders to watch. These are the folders in which your appraisal files are stored. Your folders should already be listed. Also, if you use WinTotal Aurora, notice that later on, you can set folders individually from within the file's power view simply by right-clicking on a folder and choosing to add or remove from watched folders. You can manually add your folders with the Browse button, or have Vault automatically search for which folders contain your total reports. Total usually stores your reports in your My Documents folder. Click Next when done. On the following screen, schedule Vault to run automatically. Choose a frequency and a time frame. The default is daily. For the time frame, set it to run at night. Don't worry too much about when it runs. Even if you have WinTotal open at that time, everything will still get backed up properly. Click Next. There's no reason to limit your files to fewer than 50 unless you have a really slow connection like satellite or residential DSL. So click Next on this screen as well. Vault will now run for the first time. It checks the folders you selected earlier against the files already uploaded to the Vault and gives you a list. Don't press Continue now, press Finish. Vault is now set to upload those files the next time that it runs as scheduled. Remember, you'll get an email notice from the Vault every time it runs, whether there are files to back up or not. If you stop getting these notices, this will be your first indication that Vault isn't backing up your files. You can also manually manage your files and folders from within WinTotal Aurora. In the Files Power View, right-click any file to manually send it to the Vault now. Or select multiple files by holding down the Control key and clicking on them individually, one at a time. And then right-click one of them to make the selection that then applies to all of them. And as mentioned earlier, you can change whether Vault will automatically back up a folder by right-clicking on the folder and choosing either Add to or Remove from watched folders, 
depending on the current setting for that folder. To restore a file from Vault onto your computer, make sure that WinTotal is closed. Browse to alamode.com slash vault and log in with your Alamode username and password. Click Files at the top. If it's a recent report, use one of the pull-downs in this menu to find it. To find a report, click Search, enter your criteria, and click OK. If it displays the file you want to download to your computer, check the box to the left, and click Retrieve. If there are multiple files in the list and you want to download all of them, check the box at the top left to select them all and then hit Retrieve. By default, Vault creates a Vault Restore folder in WinTotal for you, but you can specify another folder into which your files will go. Click OK to download the file into your WinTotal. Now, when you open WinTotal the next time, that file will be in the Vault Restore folder. Vault saves your files, right? Well, Exact saves your settings as well. All of your preferences, contacts, quick lists, digital signatures, comps database info, and all the checkboxes scattered throughout Total that are a hassle to have to set up again from scratch. Between Vault backing up your files and Exact your settings, you could lose your computer overnight and be back up and running on another computer the very next morning with WinTotal looking and acting the way it did on your other computer the night before. If you've bought Vault, you've also bought Exact. If you've installed Vault, you've also installed Exact. All you need to do is configure it. Access Exact's configuration from the Windows Programs menu. It's mostly an exercise in clicking the Next button, as most of your settings in the Vault configuration will transfer, including your internet connection, your all-mode username and password, and the type of software that you use. To schedule Exact to back up your settings automatically, choose Yes and click Next. The most commonly used setting for Exact is Weekly. Like the Vault, just make sure that your computer is on during that time. Click Next and Exact will test itself. Click Finish and Exact is now set to back up your settings at the next scheduled time. To recover your preferences onto a computer, select that option from the Programs menu in Windows. Click Next a few times until you get to this screen. To retrieve all of your preferences, databases, signatures, etc. in one fell swoop, choose the Easy Recover method and click Next. Choose if you want Exact to overwrite your contacts and click Next again. Click Finish to complete the process. If you'd like to be more choosy about which settings you want to download, Choose Advanced Recover instead. Choose the date of the recovery you'd like to use and click Next. Check the boxes for each of the preferences you'd like to download. Click Next again and click Finish when the process is complete. From time to time you may want to clear out some older Vault files to make room for newer ones. So this segment of the video will show you how to do that in two main steps. In step one, we need to do some things in WinTotal to keep Vault from backing up our old files all over again. Since Vault is designed to back up files by folder and not by date, we'll need to make sure that all our older files are in folders that Vault isn't backing up. For those of you with your old files already separated into folders that you don't want backed up, Check and see if your folder is being watched by the Vault. Right-click it and look for Add to Watched Folders. If this were to say 
Remove from Watched Folders, click that option to keep Vault from backing up those files again. For the case today, I'm going to create a new folder in WinTotal to specifically house all these older files. Again, if you've already got your files separated into folders by this time, this next step might not be necessary. First, I right-click Reports and create a new folder. I'll name it Old Stuff. Do not check the box for Vault to watch this folder. Now, I'll go into another folder and start moving files. If you want, you can run an advanced search to find a set of files by date, regardless of which folder they're in. Once you see the files you want to move, you select them. Click the top one, hold down Shift on your keyboard, and click on the bottom one. This selects every file in between. Then, click and drag the files into the new folder. You'll see them moving, and when they're done moving, you can click on the Old Stuff folder to verify they're there. For step two, let's go to the vault and remove some of our older files. Log into the vault at allamode.com slash vault. Once you're in, make a settings change that will make this process much easier for us. Click Settings, then choose to show 250 reports at a time. Click OK. Now, go to Files. You'll see all your files in here by default. Now, we need to select all the old files for deletion. I'll run a search by inspection date, not sale date, since not every appraisal I do has a sale date. Click OK. Vault is now showing me all the files that meet that criterion. I'll scroll up and down to verify the list before I delete files. To select every file currently shown in the list, click the top left checkbox. Now I can delete them. Warning: This step cannot be undone, so only complete your deletion if you are 100% sure that these are the files you want to permanently delete from the vault. Also, if you have more than 250 files that came up in your search, you've deleted only the first 250. Repeat this process until your search reveals no more files.